Dr. King really worked very, very hard and very peaceably to affect positive change for everyone in the, in the uh, United States and particularly in the southern United States. And I think that we need to take time to think about what his work meant, um, uh, what he wanted to accomplish, some of which has been accomplished. Uh, he had many dreams that some of which have happened. Today, millions of people across the country honor the life and legacy of a civil rights leader who peacefully fought for racial equality in the United States. Dozens of community leaders gathered in Anniston to inform the youth about the past so they'll be able to move into the future. The 18th annual Martin Luther King Jr. Breakfast and Youth Participation Day was held at Anniston Meeting Center. The theme for this year's breakfast was One Nation, One Dream. The children were educated on the life and legacy of Dr. King while also being encouraged to play positive roles in their communities. Sierra Smith, an Aniston native and the granddaughter of Reverend John Nettles, was this year's guest speaker. She said she dreamed about speaking at this event ever since she was in high school. Smith's speech addressed getting out of the old and into the new. Understanding that traditions do um, help us grow, but at the same time we have to um, develop new traditions. We have to um, encourage our young people to get out, speak up, um, to have more fun, to have decent fun, um, and to be leaders. Smith says she hopes that those who participated in today's celebration will know and understand the importance of growth and that everyone can be successful no matter where they come from.